Hi everybody, this is City Readings and hi Capricorn. Now let's see what are the messages that pop out for you guys. This is going to be for Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see what messages come up for you. Capricorn, you can check out the link in the description box which will take you to the extended for further clarifications about the person you're connecting with. How are they thinking, feeling about you? Their next moves towards you. Outcome of the situation between the two of you. Advice, oracle messages, love notes, guidance from spirit. And any other messages that you may need. Okay. Also going to be picking out what does your person want to say and things like that. Where is that relationship going? So do check it out. Now let's see, what do we have for Capricorn? What do we have for Capricorn? What do we have for Capricorn? We have Treasure Island. Wow. Bottom of the deck here, we have the tribe. So what I'm getting here right off the bat for you, Capricorn, is that um, there is a lot going on beneath the surface here with the regeneration and the round and round energy. This is talking about, um, I feel like you may have felt stuck in a certain situation, okay? And you felt like there was literally no way out of it. But at the same time, I'm getting that there is something more that you're not seeing and you're not seeing right off the bat, okay? And with the Treasure Island, this is like slowly but surely moving towards that, you know, something big kind of an energy. The pace might be a little bit slow. I do feel like there was something in the past that kept you very, very stuck, okay? But this card is giving me the Tower Wives. It's number six, number four together, which is number 10, endings and new beginnings. And then we have number seven here. So again, this is talking about... Um, it's talking about inner wisdom as well. Thinker, number 44, master number, okay. So new life, 39 which sums it up to a number 12, which is a number three. What I'm seeing here is that there is definitely something big coming up for you. Okay, there is something new, something grand on the horizon. Okay, but I'm also seeing that I feel like sometimes you tend to take the burden and the responsibility onto yourself for everything. And of course, you cannot just solve everything, right? So this to me is looking like you need to let go of something. Okay. It's almost like something, it's... It's because she is like waking up from an eggshell, okay? To me, this looks like there is, again, something quite big on the horizon for you. But at this time, you may feel like you are being challenged or things may seem a little bit off for you in your life, okay? But at the end of the day, there's something new. I feel like there is going to be a new phase in your life. That is how I am reading it. Again, we have the treasure island, which is a very, very beautiful energy. Um, but in the middle of it, we have the journey as well to get there. Sometimes we feel stuck. Sometimes we do find our way. But at the same time, I feel like, you know, good things are coming in for you. Let me actually move it a little bit so you can see, right? What do we have for, sorry, that's my Bluetooth. What do we have for Capricorn? We have a card. Ooh, we have the Sun card as your first card here. So very beautiful energies. It's talking about expansion. 
Um, this is talking about releasing something that um, burdens you. So overall, this is like the universe telling you that, hey, be happy, be happy. You know, there's a way, there's a way because you may feel very drawn to move towards things, but at the same time, you may feel like sometimes you're not getting what you want and that can, you know, and, you know, make us go like, oh, damn, you know, a little, a little bit of that, you know, demotivating kind of an energy. But I do feel like with the sun card here, happiness. Okay, there's a sense of freedom here that I'm picking up on for you. What do we have for Capricorn? So overall, I feel like uh, the month is going to be good for you. The next few weeks are going to be good for you because there is that search of happiness. Okay. Let me see. What do we have for Capricorn? We have the Knight of Cups here. Love is showing up for you here. Almost like a love message here. You know, those love message readings that I do. <laughs> um, somebody is showing up for you here. And I feel like this person is noticing how, you know, this, this is somebody who admires you. This is somebody who possibly has a crush on you because I'm seeing that they're noticing you enjoy your life and enjoy your time. Okay. And they're coming in towards you. Ooh, we have uh, the Knight of Swords and the Nine of Swords energy. I feel like um, there are fast paced changes happening for you with the Knight of Swords. This is like a rival of some sort, um, Capricorn. This is something coming towards you, okay? And I feel like this could be your energy as well because, because we have Sun in Taurus, we have Venus in Taurus. That does, um, you know, make us want to move towards things really, really fast because we feel drawn to achieve things. However, we also are going to be having Mars in Cancer, which again, I feel like there th that is where the moodiness can stem in from. So be careful with that energy. I do feel like you will be impacted by it, but that, you know, that is giving you this thinker vibe here. But at the same time, you'll be able to figure things out for yourself. Okay. It's almost like there is a sense of detachment uh, as well as anxiousness from the past. Like something here happened in the past that made you really, really anxious and sad. It's almost like I'm reading it to be a very disappointing energy. But I feel like the universe also showed you that, you know, hey, you know, this is your reward. So I feel like you are already pulled out of this sad energy. And it's a journey here. You're still getting there. There is something big on the horizon for you. For some of you, you're, you've already seen some changes in your life. Okay. Which is good if the sad energy has subsided. We have the Hierophant energy. Page of Cups, yeah. I feel like um, Capricorn right now, you're just doing what you believe in doing. Okay, you're believing in yourself. Um, you're believing in your goals and I feel like you do have a path here. Okay, you have a plan here. You, you've got things that you want to achieve. Um, and, you know, this is really giving me a vibe of overcoming those obstacles and doing what you believe in doing with the sun and the Hierophant energy together. Um, with the Page of Cups, there's somebody, you look at this, the Knight of Cups, the Page of Cups, there is somebody in your environment. For some of you, this could be more than one person. Love is showing up for, your, for you here. This is almost like somebody is admiring you, okay? Okay, and I'm also getting that they're wondering about you a lot, whoever this is. Hmm. Let's see. With the Knight of Swords, things are changing in fast for you. What is that Knight of Swords about? Please tell me about um, the Knight of Swords here for Capricorn. What is that Knight of Swords? Ten of Wands. Letting go of past burdens. Oh, maybe you need to let go of your past burdens to be able to move forward and see changes. 
uh, because there is definitely something weighing heavy on your heart, okay? Yeah, Wheel of Fortune, things are changing. But with the Six of Wands, this is like, you know, this card is telling you to look for good around you. For some of you, you could be, you know, feeling a little bit stuck in your energy. And it's good to have a good look around you and be grateful for what you've got, okay? Because I am getting that there is something big on the horizon for you. Almost like something is changing for you. Um, let's see. We have the High Priestess energy with the Star card. I kept seeing the Star card when I was shuffling. So this is some sort of a big wish fulfillment. Okay. This is something, um, I feel like Capricorn, if you have always wanted something, okay, and it's almost like if you have always, um, you know, the, this is giving me that dreamy why, where, you know, you have a dream, you want to achieve something and you really put your mind and focus to it. Okay. And on it really, you know, make a plan towards it. And I feel like, boom, it happens. So with the high priestess and the star energy, this is giving me a vibe that there is a wish fulfillment for you. Um, trust your intuition, trust your path, because with the Hierophant energy, you've already decided to do what feels right for you to do. What, what is it that you believe in? Okay, because I feel like in the past, you maybe have done things that other people were kind of like telling you and stuff, getting influenced, but you have chosen a path for yourself. And where is this energy stemming from? It's mainly stemming from some sort of a sadness here and then being like, I'm never going to be in this energy again. Okay, so again, something was confusing you, something was tiring you, and then you decided to focus on some other stuff here. Okay, possibly your work and finding your own happiness. With the High Priestess and the Star, this is talking about a lot of healing as well as a big wish fulfillment for you. And with the Wheel of Fortune, of course, this is destiny. This is something that's meant to be for you. So there is definitely something meant to be for you. Let's see. What do we have for Capricorn? There you are with the Eight of Cups, the Devil and the Hermit energy Capricorn. So there is definitely, I feel like this is that soul searching kind of an energy. We have a lot of major arcana in this reading. Big changes and a big message that this reading is giving you. Okay. And I feel like this is indicating towards those changes that are going to be happening in your life. But at the same time, it's telling you to have that perseverance and also believe that if, if there is an obstacle in your way, then you can overcome it as well. But for the most part, I feel like it's going to be easy for you because it's like the universe is aligning things for you. There's recognition in your work. There's some sort of a good news. There's some sort of a wish fulfillment. I feel like where you need to pay attention towards is possibly your thinking and your overthinking, I would say. There's definitely something that you have left behind and there's this energy of illumination, being enlightened, okay? Some of you are also becoming very spiritual um, uh, with the devil energy. Um, I feel like Capricorn, you really want to break free from something, but there is something pulling you back. Or you feel like there's a certain situation you keep wanting to come out of it but that situation tends to pull you back in and you don't know possibly how to heal from it and i feel like that is going to be your challenge to heal from that temptation okay or to let go of that temptation or to handle that temptation right let me actually pull some cards for the person that you're connecting with even though it's pretty evident that with the Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, Knight of Swords, there is somebody coming in. Tell me more about the person they're connecting with. We have Queen of Cups. 
I feel like this person has love for you, but at times you don't believe it. Why? Because they tend to... Um, I feel like this person is very moody. Sometimes you think that they only are there in your life when they want and never there when you want. And that's why maybe something came to an end. But with the Three of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups, this is somebody who admires you, Capricorn. Okay, this is somebody who definitely admires you. Let me see. What do we have for Capricorn? Do check out the link in the description box, Capricorn. It's going to take you to the extended for further clarifications about the person you're connecting with. How are they thinking, feeling about you? Their next moves, outcome of ice, love notes, and guidance from spirit, okay? We have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. Yeah, so this person, I believe, wants another chance with you, okay? Um, there's a very strong possibility of somebody from the past coming back. I mean, there's somebody who admires you and wants you back, okay? Past life relationship and release your ex. I feel like you're, you're trying to release them, but they're trying to come back. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each, to each other, your bond deepens. So I do feel like you may, I think you felt like you never just knew this person completely and there was always something that you had to guess about them. It's like you're giving up on this connection and this person and finding your happiness by yourself and elsewhere in your life. But I feel like this person is not giving up on you, whoever this is. Okay. This is a pause situation. The signs that we have are Pisces, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Libra, Capricorn. Very evident here. Okay. Let's see. What do we have for Capricorn? A personal issue reaches resolution, cancer, energy. So I feel like there's somebody who possibly wants to resolve the issue with you. Um... This person wants to clear the air with you. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Yeah, there is definitely, I feel like there have been, you know, difficulties for you. But at the same time, I feel like there is, of course, a good news or something good on the horizon, okay? Because after dark times are good times, okay? It is good times or whatever. After a dark period of time, of course, we will see good changes. So it's not always like the same thing happening over and over again. Again, I feel like this is kind of like giving you that encouragement, this reading, okay? That's it. Those were the messages that popped out for can uh, Cancer, I said. Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, do give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Check out the extended version. Link down below in the description box if you're interested. Take care of yourself and bye-bye.